Here we're going to do a really simple demo of an OpenShift environment connected to a pure storage array. We can see the pure storage array here. Currently, the only volumes that are created are um, actually these are background volumes for the Docker registry. Um, but there are no Kubernetes volumes there. Kubernetes is the plugin that we're using for OpenShift, and all volumes created with by Kubernetes will start with the letters K8S. So let's really do a simple demonstration of creating a simple MongoDB uh, database within OpenShift. So we're going to go to databases, MongoDB. We're going to select the persistent variant of that. So we'll use the pure storage backend. We'll now go through the simple setup. We're going to create a new project, which we'll call Mongo Demo. And we will then give it some just username and password information just so that Mongo can actually do something and configure itself. And we'll create a volume which is something a little bit bigger than one gig. Let's say 13 gig we're going to create here. Let's hit next and create. It's now going away in the background and creating uh, the container that's going to be connected to a persistent volume on the pure array. So we go look at the Mongo demo. There's a deployment started here. We'll have a look at that deployment. It's spinning up one pod. Have a look at that pod. And here we see that it's that pod is running on node C706. It has a persistent volume claim. Let's look at that persistent volume claim. That persistent volume claim is here. It's called PVC 34B28. So we go and look at the pure array, and we'll see now we have a persistent volume that starts K8S, as I said, PVC. 34B28. So this is in a direct match and allows you to correlate. If we go onto this particular volume, we'll see that it's connected to C0706, as we expect it to be. And we'll go back to the container interface for OpenShift, and we will go to the actual pod itself. Have a look, it's now running. And we'll look at the logs, and we can see that we now have a MongoDB environment that is started up and is running. And also we can have a look and see here, we can go and look at the events on that particular pod. And we'll see this is where we had the mount volume succeed for the persistent volume from the pure storage array. And that simply is using persistent storage Kubernetes plugin for pure storage on an OpenShift container platform.